Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're keeping happy and safe inside your home. Have you watched the video of Mrs. Starkey reading Peter Rabbit? If not, I advise you stop the video and go watch that video now because this video isn't going to make a lot of sense unless you do. If you have, well done, keep watching. I was thinking about the main character of the story. He's actually one of my favourite animals. What is my favourite animal? You're right, a rabbit. So here is the main character of our story, Peter Rabbit, who is in fact a rabbit. So here's a real life rabbit because I know that this picture, which is the picture you've probably seen so far, unless you've seen the Peter Rabbit movie, is animated. So here is a real life rabbit. Maybe you're really lucky and you actually have a pet rabbit or know someone that has a pet rabbit in your family or maybe one of your friends. So I want you to stop the video and have a think. Where do you think a rabbit lives? Now, I don't mean domestic rabbits, so pet rabbits. Do you remember we used the word domestic before when we were talking about tigers? We had domestic cats, meaning pet cats, so we've got the same as domestic rabbits, pet rabbits. Where do wild rabbits live? Stop the video and have a think. So here is where a domestic rabbit lives. They live in a rabbit hutch. So you might find these outside in the garden. You might find maybe a bigger metal cage or something that looks a little bit similar to this. And wild rabbits live in the forest or the woods. They live underground. So while you're walking, you might see holes in the ground. The rabbits live in warrens. Warrens or burrow. Burrow which is a little tunnel underground. So as you can see in this picture, you can see those little squiggly lines underneath the mud. That is their burrows or warrens. And what the rabbits do is they dig these so that they have somewhere nice and warm and safe for them to sleep. Now, I want you to stop the video again. I have an empty plate. I want you to tell me how much you know about rabbits. So. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and make a list of all the things you think rabbits eat. Okay, off you go. Stop the video. So the first thing rabbits eat is grass. So they eat a lot of grass and hay. This is what rabbits would eat most of all over anything else, grass and hay. The next thing they might eat is fruit. Well, I was quite surprised when I learned this. I didn't know that rabbits eat fruit. They can have a little bit of fruit. Fruit for rabbits is like chocolate bars for us. If we had lots and lots and lots of chocolate bars, we would get really big, really fat. If a rabbit eats lots and lots and lots of fruit, because of the sugar in the fruits, it would make a rabbit very, very fat. So a fruit for a rabbit is a little treat. Even though for us, we have to eat lots of fruit and and vegetables because it keeps us healthy. They eat leaves so they can eat lots and lots and lots of leaves like they can eat grass and hay. Lettuce, maybe you have some lettuce in your house, I know I love a lettuce with salad. Carrots, now you might have had this one at the top of your list but do you know you're actually not meant to give rabbits a lot of carrots, they do love carrots but once again carrots for rabbits are like a treat so they can have them now and then but really they should be eating lots of grass. And celery, which is very similar to carrots. The last thing I've put is rabbit food. Because rabbits are pets, you can go into the pet shop and buy some rabbit food. So if you have a pet at home, maybe the next time you're in the pet store, you can look and see if you can see any rabbit food. Now, I've got an empty plate again. We know so much more about what rabbits eat. Next to the list you've already written, can you write down now what foods you know a rabbit eats? What can you remember that I've just told you? Stop the video now. Well done everybody. We have learned so much about rabbits, what they eat and where they live. I am so impressed with you. Give yourselves a tap on the back because you've done amazing today. I have one extra challenge for you though. 
I've seen Peter Rabbit hopping around Sly and Langley and I think he's looking for somewhere to have a little bit of lunch. I think with all of the knowledge we've gained today about what rabbits eat, we could prepare a small lunch for Peter Rabbit. Now, because rabbits eat mostly grass and all natural things, I think you should be able to find what he wants to eat when you're out on your next walk or maybe in your garden. Put what you want to eat on a small plate and leave it out for him. Maybe you could write a list of all the things you've laid out so you don't forget. I'm very excited to see what meal you lay out for Peter Rabbit and even more excited to see if he comes and eats it. Take a picture and put it on Tapestry and I can't wait to see you all soon. Take care and see you later.